It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parshat Korach, the importance of being secondary. If you think about the rebellion of Korach, you think about people who had a great resentment about being second fiddle. After all, I'm a Hisarer, Lenu Tam Hisarer. How could you dare, Moshe and Aaron, lead over us? But Moshe says, what do you mean, Rav Lachem B'nei Levi? You have, you have a great deal. You're, you're Levites. You're assistants. It's great. Apparently, it's not easy being an assistant. It's not easy being in the role of the Levite. What's the role of the Levite? He's there to serve the Jews. He's there to serve, uh, to serve the Kohanim. And uh, he's there in secondary, ancillary roles. It's the shoer, he's the show air. He's the guard. He closes the gates. He makes sure that it's like the honor guard around the base of Mikdash, makes sure everything's looking good. And they're part of the singing uh, group. So, you know, the Kohanim, they bring the sacrifices, but the, the Levites merely sing the songs along with those sacrifices feels like an auxiliary role. It's not easy playing the auxiliary role. And yet, really, if you think about it, this notion of playing auxiliary role is a very important part of what it means to be a Jew. The Rambam says that every person should aspire to be a Levi. It means that everyone could aspire to dedicate themselves to God like a Levite. But I'd like to suggest that there's another element to being a Levite as well. We know that to, to accompany you. A Levi, a Pami Levi, she lied. The original etymology of, of the tribe of Levi is that Leah felt that her husband would now accompany her. Now that she's got three children, how is she supposed to manage with three children in two hands? So she, she'll have to be accompanied, says the Chizkuni, by her husband. Levaya is to, Livui is to accompany, escort people. Now, uh, the, this, this escorting, uh, this assistance is so important. I'd like to uh, cite a number of uh, citations from Rav Avram Yisrael Silvsky on uh, yeshiva.org, who uh, really fleshes out this notion of the importance of shirut, of assisting. It says later on that the, the Levite's role is to serve his brethren. That indeed is the role of a Jew in general. The, uh, the, 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 there's a Masechus Derech Eretz, there's a small tractate known as the uh, you know, proper manners and proper behavior. So in chapter 7, uh, law number 10, it says that Rabbi Kiva says this is how he started serving the scholars. How did he start? One time he saw a dead person on the road, unfortunately, Lo Alenu, shouldn't know from it. And he sees him there, so he drags him all the way to the cemetery and he buries him. So he goes to his rabbi and he says, you know, I did a great job. I found him a dead body. It's the biggest mitzvah in the world. Mace mitzvah of bodies, and I buried him. And I took him all the way for miles. And he said, you did that? You did what? That's terrible. A mace mitzvah, konim como. When you have a dead body and it doesn't belong to anyone, He's entitled to be buried right there in the land of Israel, wherever it is. You don't have to take him somewhere else. Similarly, you know, let's, let's say a poor person dies in California. They call me in Memphis and they say, oh, you know, he once lived in Memphis. Could you bury him here? We say, no, we have nothing to said, no. Mace Kone Macomo. He dies in Los Angeles. The community in Los Angeles has to bury him over there. His Rebbe got so mad at him, he says, this is terrible. How could you do that? Every time, every step you took was, uh, was as if you, you were killing him. Uh, why were you doing this? So he really berates him. Rabbi Eliezer really berates him. From then on, Rabbi Kiva said, I'm not going to leave the rabbis. I've got to do shimush. In other words, not just learning. He had always learned from the rabbis. These were his rabbis, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yeshua. But this is Tchila Shimusha, the beginning of learning how to uh, watch what the rabbi does and acquire the side points, the fine points, that's what's so important. This rabbi points out that, that what he learned from this is not just that, you know, this is the law. What he learned is the, the fire and the passion of the rabbi was so upset that he moved it. In other words, it tells you the importance of this mitzvah. See, you could learn a lot of mitzvahs from a rabbi, and he t- tells you, you know, you memorize them, you learn them, you know them. But when the rabbi, you say, ask a question to the rabbi, and, says, and the rabbi says, what? That's the question you ask? How could you ask that question? It's, uh, it's, a, it's against this, or this reflects a, a poor value. Uh, the question shows that you don't value this or you don't value that. Here's where we get our values from. And that's why it's so important. 
That's why it's so crucial. That's why it's so key to do shimush to And therefore, Rabbi Meir says in the Gemara and Brachos Mem Zayin Amabez that Filu Kar Vashana, even if you read the whole Tanakh and you read all the Mishnahis, but Lo Shimush to Mechachamim, Reza Amar, you're a fool if you didn't do all that. So uh, the, uh, or the, the Gemara says, Gadol Shimusha Yotzom Yilimuta, that it's greater, more important, says Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, uh, that more important to study Torah with others, to follow others, to watch the Rebbe. How does he sleep? How does he eat? How does he do this, that? How does he pass contrails? How does he decide Jewish law? What does he value most? How do we know? Because Elisha Yatzak Mayim Eliyahu. He poured water for Elijah. Why does it say that Elisha, the student of Elijah, for student of Eliyahu, poured water over his Rebbe? Why didn't he say he taught him? Because because Gedola Shimushi Yosemi Limuda, it's more important to emphasize that Elisha watched Elijah the prophet. He watched how does he do miracles? How does he do this? How does he get mad at these sinners? What does he do? And that's the most important thing. That says the Gemara and Brachos Daf Zayin This is uh, what's what's so important is is uh, is watching watching the others. The the Gemara in, in Erevin says that uh, part, of, part of the shimush is to see the rabbi, the inspiration of being with the rabbi, being with your teachers, being with inspiring people. Erevin, Yud Gimel Mabez, the notion that he says, you know, uh, that um, Rebbe says, the reason I'm so sharp is that I, I once saw a mayor in his back. In other words, I didn't actually learn from him, but I saw him, just the vision of a certain rabbi. That can also be very, very inspiring. For Rabbi Tzadok HaKohen of Lublin says in his book, Ritzisei Laila, he says as follows. He says, you know, the ultimate Misharet, the ultimate person who knew how to be secondary was Yoshua. His whole life, until he took over as the, as the leader, he was a Misharet Moshe. He was simply the one who served Moshe to learn how is it done, what do we do. So um, he says, what is the idea of this? So he said, Rabbi Tzadik says that the Shimush, when you sit there and you say, oh, let's see how the, how the Rebbe drinks, how the Rebbe laughs, how the Rebbe talks. How the Rebbe, so when you do that, and I'm not necessarily talking about Hasidic Rebbe, but that's certainly true in that world as well. You know what you're doing? You're showing the love, and you're learning the love and the passion for, for Torah. And that's the most important thing, that, uh, that, that, that you, you're, you're learning how, do we, how does a person who has all this Torah, keep the Torah going for all generations. That's what you're learning. It's this, this is a special, uh, you desire to be with those who are like this. This is something really special. If there's a, there are 49 levels of knowledge that we can most, mostly achieve at the 50th level, it's hard to achieve, that's the 50th level. You learn all these things from the Rebbe, you memorize this, that, and the other thing, you learn brachos and babamatsi and babakama, but then you, you watched him, you observed the Rebbe, that's the 50th level is the Shimush, is actually watching what's going on. Yoshua was an expert at it. The Levites were told, you know what? Be Misharit. Be serve the Jewish people. Serve the Kohanim. Serve the Beit HaMikdash. Be the, the holy servants. And sometimes we, we don't want to just be a servant of a uh, public servant. We want to be the leaders. Or we want to have more covered, more honor. We want, sometimes we think like Korach. But... Torah tells us, Rav Lachem Levi. No, this is a very big job you have to serve in certain ancillary roles. Very big job. A lot of people in their lives they serve ancillary roles. They don't, they're not the star of the show. They play supportive roles, and sometimes they feel, ah, you know, I'm just a, just a supportive role. No, says Parshas Korach, Rav Lachem Levi. Being a Levite, accompanying others in the holy project, being assistant to the others making sure the project of Judaism takes place because you watch the small details, make sure that the temple is honored because it has an honor guard, making sure the service is beautiful because there's beautiful songs, making sure that you go through the whole different communities where the Levites would live in 36 cities, 42 cities of the Levites. When they live in those cities, they inspire Yorim Shodach Yaakov, they would teach Torah to others. These roles, even the role of a teacher, some view as an auxiliary role, these roles are so important. Korach didn't understand that. Korach thought it was all about leadership, but even leadership is service. A leader who doesn't understand that ultimately he is a public servant. He serves the people. Someone gets 
to a position where, let's say, they're very learned and they, they lead the community, whether they're a rabbi or they're a president or they are uh, a great leader in a certain field, uh, a doctor, whatever it may be. It's not, it's not that, oh, now I'm big man on campus. That's not the point. Now you have certain skills. You have a certain position, authority. Now it's time to serve the people. If you ever see a politician, a leader, a rabbi, a teacher who's not there to serve the people, that's a problem. If you see someone who's serving with love, and knows how to serve, knows how to be a Mesharis Moshe, knows how to be a Shereh Dechav, to serve the brethren, to serve the Jewish people, serve the customers, to serve the masses, that is someone who truly understands the message of, of the negative message of Korach, the lesson of Korach, that ultimately, to be in a secondary role of accompanying, so important. A shout out to all those who play secondary roles in so many different fields. You're important. You're needed. It's, it's incredible. And also to take advantage of when you see holy rabbis, learned people, take advantage, ask them questions, see how they behave, watch them daven, watch them uh, put on their tefillin, watch them and interact with other people and see what can you learn from them? Because that, that's also shimush. That's a type of, of learning from others. If we can learn to be students, if we can learn to take from others, then we've overcome the problem of Korach. We've learned the lesson of Parshas Korach, and we've learned the importance of being a Levi. Thank you for joining us here at the Baron Hirsch Congregation for our discussion of Parsha. Join us each week for a discussion of Parsha on the holidays. And thanks to Jason, Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. And thanks to our sponsors this week. And that's Karen Barney Abbas. We're sponsoring once again. Loving memory of the great parents, Miriam and Harry Cooper, of blessed memory, great leaders in our congregation. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein.